Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time, where we just try to connect you with some of the the best scripture out there and devotions to help you grow in your faith in Jesus Christ. So glad you could join today. Um, today, we're, we've been talking through the book of Romans, and uh, we're in Romans 8. You know, and the Bible says, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. But then it goes on to say, those who walk according to the spirit and not according to the flesh. So if you walk in the flesh, and we talked about that on yesterday's devotion, go back and listen to that. Um, if you walk according to the flesh, you're going to get what the flesh can get, do. But it says, do walk according to the spirit. Why is that a big deal? Because when you're walking in the Spirit, there's no condemnation. Now, now, let me share with you maybe some things you're unintended. We think no condemnation, great, we're not going to hell. But can you imagine what it'd be like to be free from all the guilt and all the feelings of inadequacy and inferiority? Well, that's the peace of no condemnation. Can you imagine what it would be like to be free from all the self-depreciating, self-destructive thoughts that plague you and often paralyze you? Well, that's the benefit of walking in the Spirit. The key to this kind of life is to simply trust all your needs to be met in Jesus Christ. Quit trying to scheme and manipulate and struggle to get your own needs met. Look to Christ as the source for every need that you have. See, Jesus Christ will meet your need for sufficiency. Do you know there'll never be a demand put on your life which Jesus cannot handle or meet? Matter of fact, there will never be a demand by God put on your life that he won't provide you a way to pull that off. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 4.19 says, My God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He is your sufficiency in all things at all times. And the great goal of God in every one of us is to pry us loose from self-sufficiency and to get us living out of Christ's sufficiency. The essence of the entire Christian life is summed up in that vine branch illustration that Jesus gives us in John chapter 15. He says in verse 4, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I'm the vine, you're the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, it is he that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. It's the vine, the life of the vine flowing through the branch that supplies life and the sustenance for the branch. The responsibility of the branch isn't to produce, but to abide. The life of the vine flowing into and through the branch will do the producing. So Jesus is your sufficiency. Matter of fact, Ephesians 1.3 says that God has already blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. 2 Corinthians 9, 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. Well, there, there's a reason. another thing. Not only will he meet your need for sufficiency, but Jesus Christ will meet your need for security. He's your security. Your position, your standing before God for all eternity is secure because you're in him. Who can condemn or judge you when you're in Christ? I mean, Romans 8, later on in this very same chapter, it says in verse 31, What shall we say then to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him give us graciously all things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. You are secure in Christ. You're as secure as Jesus is secure. You can't fall unless Jesus falls. You can't be abandoned unless Jesus is abandoned. And you can't be rejected unless he is rejected. It all comes down to this word that the Holy Spirit led Paul to scribble in a letter to Timothy. If we're faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. So he can't condemn you any more than he could condemn himself, and there's nothing in him to be condemned for. Well, 
I'm praying for you today that you will find your security and your sufficiency in the person of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you so much that today there is nothing more, nothing else, nothing better that we could want. So, Lord, help us to walk in the Spirit. Help us to enjoy, Father, our status of having no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Help us, Father, to walk this day according to the Spirit, depending on you for all things. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have an incredible day. Love God. Love one another. And by the way, when you're walking in the Spirit, I can promise you, you're going to be two things today. You're going to be salt, and you're going to be light. Have a great day.